Good afternoon everybody, it's Secunder Scott Von Help from HolisticMusician.com here to share with you today's Bowl of Sake by Hazrat Nayak Khan for July the 25th. Our spirit is the real part of us, the body but its garment. A man would not find peace at the tailor's because his coat comes from there. Neither can the spirit obtain true happiness from the earth just because his body belongs to the earth. So one more time. Our spirit is the real part of us, the body but its garment. A man would not find peace at the tailor's because his coat comes from there. Neither can the spirit obtain true happiness from the earth just because his body belongs to the earth. So there's a lot of different things you could really take from this. Um, you know, really, it, it, it alludes to the fact that true happiness comes from within. Um, you can't find happiness from an external form. Uh, when real happiness is really the the um, essence of the soul our our soul is happiness God is love and God is happiness and God is part of our our being um, and every part of our being is is God um, so with that being said or that idea in mind um, you can't be you know just I love this is another phrase of Anayat Khan's that I love so much um, you know just because one a person thinks he's poor because his coat is poor you know uh, because he has whole a person with a ratty torn coat thinks he's poor because he has a, a ratty torn coat uh, but in fact he's not poor uh, his coat's poor um, you know and it's the same with the outer garment uh, you know people ask a lot of times about you know um, how can you have the spiritual faith or be a Christian or have all these different you know um, different aspects of you know spiritual life um, and have all those tattoos you know and I, I, somebody asked me that once when I was on tour with Brian Head Welch. We were in a tour, uh, a, town, a little church in Tomball, well, big church, mega church, in Tomball, Texas. And a woman asked me how we can be believers and still have all these tattoos and, you know, and the long hair and things like that. How does that work, she said. And I said, well, it works the same way it works with you and how you dress and things like that. Um, you know, my faith is in God, my belief is in God, and that's where I, I aim my, my soul and my purpose. Um, Aside from that, I feel the good Lord gave me this body. I can, uh, this house to live in while I'm here. I can, you know, paint it how I want. And uh, she liked that answer. But um, th I think about that, you know, that the outer body is really just a, a house that we live in uh, while we're on this plane of existence. And, uh, you know, we can treat it how we want. Uh, we can paint it how we want. We can take good care of it. We can take crappy care of it. Um, it really, uh, it's really up to us. But, um, you know, when something externally happens, um, you know, we get kind of hung up on that uh, as being a, a huge ordeal when um, it, in a lot of cases it really doesn't affect the spirit or the soul. Uh, and if you can retain that happiness of the soul without losing that, and, uh, then you can retain that true happiness and, and you can always have that happiness regardless of what the outer garment is carrying with it. You know, and I think about this a lot of times, you know, I have a really stressful job right now and it's it's not a fulfilling place um, and I can carry that a lot of times it's really easy for me to carry that weight and that stress of that um, the, the, the just the the ugliness of having to carry that um, you know sometimes really gets to me uh, but you know then I realize that that's not who I am that's not what I am my my purpose is to really be that outpouring of spirit and if I continue to give that outpouring of spirit even in that environment I can have an impact and even in that environment I can find a way to be at peace um, inwardly be with God when outwardly being with the people um, which is another great Sufi saying uh, so you know it's just a couple thoughts that kind of came to mind but you know our outer happiness um, is important you know are important you know and, and this the other thing this alludes to um, the point I wanted to make is just because uh, neither can the spirit obtain true happiness from the earth just because his body belongs to the earth so just because we live on this planet or live on this earth and we have things like you know triple bacon cheeseburgers and um, you know 64 ounce beers and uh, you know all these types of things that are, are sensory things that you know really you know we can enjoy you know I like a cold beer and I like a tall one once in a while you know and I used to eat a lot of meat a triple bacon cheeseburger sounded amazing um, but those things can't really bring to happy, true happiness and a lot of times we indulge in those things because we don't have happiness and we're trying to find that happiness so we go to that um, extreme of the earthly pleasures uh, in order to really find that happiness and it never comes from that um, you just feel worse or you you know um, 
you feel sick or hung over or something like that where um, really nurturing that 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 happiness within the soul and that true light within your own heart um, really is going to bring about that that long-lasting happiness they can't come from earthly pleasures and there's nothing wrong with you know enjoying the earth enjoying the things of the earth and uh, and really being in awe of God's um, gifts to us I mean there's nothing wrong with that but you always want to return to that idea if you can uh, that there are gifts from God and that we're here to enjoy that and that again is going to feed that true inner happiness of the soul so just a couple thoughts I want to share about today's bowl of sake. You can get more bowl of sake at my website, holisticmusician.com, or over at the YouTube page for Holistic Musician. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another episode. Take care.